Jesus did not die for this. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN Jack Frost What's up party people I so Yeah So Apparently There is A bank That has decided to issue A debit card with Harriet Tubman On the front of it Putting her arms in the type of position that might make people think that she was saying Wakanda forever. Okay, so this is what happened. There's this bank, all right? So before we even go into any of this, real quick, let's shoot everything down before I get how white people suck in the comment section. I'm not saying that, but people are going to assume that white people did this. This is a black company. <laughs> y'all, I'm laughing and shit. But I mean, this is a black company, y'all. This is a company. It's actually a black bank. And um, it's been running for, for quite some time on top of that. Um, I believe uh, the, the bank, uh, the, the black bank, this black bank, don't forget about this, have been around for quite some time now. And it was like in like 2015, they had to like get a, a bailout package because there was the financial crisis and all that. So at that time, they had rebranded them. And they made it so they was like no longer uh, finance. They was no longer was like a financial institution or whatever. And and that's what happened. Um, basically, they rebranded. They changed who they were. Right? They was like, yo, look, we black people deal with it. Like that's what they was. Like I, I guess before the whole situation, they pretended to be white people. I have no idea how it worked in the office. But anyway, this is a black company, and they decided to do Harriet. Tubman on the front of their credit cards doing the Wakanda forever. Now, there's a couple of things I gotta say. There's gonna be a lot of people upset at them. But um, sometimes people have good intentions. It's just shit don't work out right. So after it don't work out right, that's why it's very important to know what a person's intentions are. That's why often when we're talking about whatever we're talking about on, on this channel, I'm always trying to explain, well, why did the person do that? What was what was they trying to get to? Because apparently they were not trying to get her to do the Wakanda forever, just so everybody knows. <laughs> that sign is actually the sign for love in sign language. And that's actually why Kugler, the director of um, Black Panther, used it as the Wakanda forever sign because it's actually... Uh, in sign language is a sign for love so that's basically what they were trying to do because they was just basically trying to say that harriet tubman was um a, uh, loved everyone which i'm gonna i'm gonna say that's a lie because i'm pretty sure she hated slave masters and slave catchers i'm pretty sure those people she did not like but that's a whole nother conversation for a whole nother day anyway so um they make these credit cards with harriet tubman on the on the front of it and once again, she's doing the Wakanda forever and people are upset. But there's another reason why you, you, you really have to know why people do what they're doing. Okay, so remember a while back when it was that big push to put Harriet Tubman on a $20 bill? I personally think that was stupid. Because I'm letting you know right now, y'all really think America is going to have a black person, an openly black person. <laughs> I don't know no other way to say that Because I mean if you go back Like people keep trying to say Thomas Jefferson Was like half black or some shit So I'm just saying like somebody who we know are black You think they're gonna have them on our currency I just I just don't know if I see that And if they were to put an openly black person <laughs> I keep saying openly black But I literally have to say it like that to be correct An openly black person <laughs> Yo, look at Tiger. Like sometimes he's not black. Sometimes he's like Korean or whatever his mom's is. He's like black inconvenience. Anyway, so um <laughs> if they were to put an openly black person, that just don't sound right. Openly black person on a uh a, a, a currency, I would I don't think this is a really misogynistic um America. 
Donald Trump is the president. You think they're going to put a woman on currency? Anyway, so uh, basically there was a situation that they was having with the $20 bill when there was people trying to say that they wanted to get uh, Harriet Tubman on the $20 bill. There was a push to do that. I, I don't know what happened with that. I think they was, um, they said um, when Obama was in office, they was like, yeah, it's going to happen, but it's going to happen like in the future. So wait, before we go any further, these presidents is tricky. All right, I'm going to explain something to you. These presidents will notice some shit that we want or some something that we like, and they'll be pandering to that audience. Kind of how this black bank is pandering to black people by making a credit card with Harriet Tubman on it. Now, I'm going to explain why that's so bad in a minute. But before we get to why that's so bad, I want to explain something else. These presidents are tricky. These presidents will sign something into legislature knowing damn well that by the time it's expected to actually go into effect, they're not going to be in the office no more. And they know damn well that the person that comes in the office after them is most likely going to turn it around and change it. So they could go out of the office smelling like grapes. Wait, is grapes something you want to smell like? I'm not 100% sure. But whatever it is that you like smelling and it smells fresh and clean to you, they can come out of the office smelling that way. And then whoever their predecessor is turns the clock back and says, no, we're not doing that thing. Now they look like a bad guy. So <laughs> that's possibly why we're not getting the Harriet Tubman 20, which I don't know if I'm for or against that, to be honest with you. I don't care who's on my money. Anyway, um, one thing that I uh, I do want to say, I'm going to make sure that, that I don't uh, leave this part out. Um, if we're going to put anybody on money, right, and they're going to be black, this is not my favorite person for a ton of different reasons, although I do respect and I do love what this individual did. But there's just certain aspects of me that gravitate closer to Malcolm X than Martin Luther King. But if we're going to have any black person on any money in any denomination, it got to be Martin Luther King. I'm sorry. I, I know there's women out there that think this is a woman man thing, but this is not a woman man thing. This is a it's going to be much easier to get Martin Luther King on a, on money than it is to get Harriet Tubman. That's what that is. Then after we get Dr. Martin Luther King on money, then maybe down the line, this, this, this misogynistic America will be open enough to put a white woman on money. And then after a white woman is put on money, yo, I'm laughing and shit. I know there's going to be a lot of black women that's going to be like, but y'all don't understand how marginalized our black women are. Our black women are extremely marginalized um, since us as black men are often attacked so 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 savagely in the press and in the media and just in just in general people tend to overlook the sadness that 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 envelops our black queens that you know them watching their watching their brothers watching their watching their sons watching their fathers watching their uncles watching their cousins out here being treated in a manner and they can't do more to help because a lot of them would if they could a lot of them are our Harriet Tubmans. A lot of, especially the older women in our family, they are our Harriet Tubmans. So, even though I don't know if I would put her on a, on first or try to get her put on a bill first, because of just, I just don't think that they're gonna let it happen. So that's just not something I'd be, I'd be trying to do something that's more uh possible, and then we work towards the shit that just don't seem like it could ever happen. Um, with that being said, um, so they decided to put her on the credit card based off the fact that they saw the outpour of people that wanted her put on currency. But I'm going to explain to you what the big problem with this is. You see, when she's put on the currency, it's not that she's on money. That's not the big deal. The big deal is the breakthrough. The breakthrough that our people will feel like we have as a community that now we have a black person on money that's being printed in our American printing, whatever the hell they call these guys. <laughs> what do they call them shits? I don't know. Put it down in the comment section. But um, that's what that is. So by them putting her on a credit card that's a private, that's owned by a private company, that just has less of an effect. I mean, you could get any picture put on a credit card. What they should have did was seen how many people decided to put Harriet Cut Tubman on their personal credit cards. <laughs> That's what they should have did. They should have said, you know what? Before we do this, let's see who's actually asking.
asking to have Harriet Tubman on credit cards because that's a whole different situation. That's a private organization. When when a black person gets put on money, money, American money, that's a whole different issue. That's a uh, that that's just it's just different. It's just a different feeling. So they obviously missed the mark. I want to know what y'all think about this. Um, I don't think I think they were just pandering to black people. Uh, I don't know, and I think that they just they, they it's a good chance that they was they was working from a good spot. <laughs> but they had a bad they had they had a bad view. I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, let me know what y'all guys think about this. Put this down in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe, join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.